fuck? That almost killed me too. That's what happens when you shoot the pumpkin and you just get a jump scare like that. That just, yo, bro, this is multiplayer, not Warzone. So they buffed the Fennec from Modern Warfare 2 here in Modern Warfare 3 with the recent Season 6 update. They increased the maximum damage on this weapon for some odd reason. They increased the near medium damage on the weapon. They increased the medium damage as well. They also increased the minimum damage. They decreased the maximum damage range. They decreased the near medium damage range. They also decreased the medium damage range as well. And under it says adjustments to damage ranges are compensated for the decreased number of shots to kill. In other words, this gun does kill insanely quick, but they don't want it to kill that fast at further ranges. Which obviously, does make sense because it is the vector. The vector is one of the fastest firing SMGs probably in Call of Duty history. If I keep it a buck with you, but we're using today's video here from Warfare 3, and honestly, the vector does what the vector does best, and that's just absolutely just straight. So we have one of these ZLR 16 admission barrel gives you recoil control below velocity and range. Hit fire accuracy and gun can control. You have one of these Zemeth compensated flash hider for short radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and also fire aim stability. I have one of the 45 round mag. I have one of the MK3 reflector sight. And we have one of the Agile Assault T7 stock for aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, cross movement speed, and also sprint speed. This class is absolutely insane. And honestly, I tried to use the iron sight on this weapon, but I was like, eh, let's put a sight on this gun. And Honestly, for some odd reason, the site made it a lot more satisfying, in my personal opinion. I think mean, like it gave it a different type of factor to the weapon for some odd reason, but that's just me and how I just tend to enjoy this weapon. If you do enjoy it, for the drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the game place. Bro, this shit look beautiful on here. Oh my god. I know they buffed online for season six, but holy this shit looks beautiful on this dark map. Oh my gosh. But and it's not why we're here. We are here for the Fennec, Fennec got buffed, or better known as the Vector. He got buffed with the Season 6 update, and I am once again here for it. This is the fastest killing SMG in Modern Warfare 2. You know, the Fennec is a rapid fire, fast fire, and shooting SMG. And, you know, guns like this and guns like that always are the fastest TCK weapons in their game. I think it did get nerfed in Modern Warfare 2 at some point, but it was still, like, you know, that top tier SMG. But they buffed it in this game, which I am very surprised because it's like, holy. I think I might have used this thing one time in this game. I really truly don't remember, but it's kind of, this is kind of like a, a brand new experience for me right now. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I have high hopes for this weapon. Like I said, it, it, it kills so fast last year that it's no way it doesn't do the same now. Granted, it's a whole different game with totally different health, but I still feel like it can definitely hold its own. And I mean, so far right now, the kills are actually insanely good. Only downside I see right now, I'm gonna keep it a buck, is the reloading. The reloading is so slow. And that 45, this 45 is very slow. I don't have fast hands to like even help, so we gotta just, you know, simply deal with it. But they gave this thing more damage range, a faster overall damage is, is on its own. It, they, they made it better, I'm gonna be honest. They made it more so it, it can compete, you know, with a lot of the Modern Warfare 3 SMGs in this game. This is the Vector, and, and I definitely put on the site to give it more of that Vector look. And honestly, it made it a lot more accurate for some odd reason. It made it a lot more accurate, but me personally, I think the site makes it a lot, a lot more satisfying to you. So I'm gonna see what I can do here. Yeah, right now, I'm getting cooked. They're all using like one shot pistols for some odd reason. I, I truly don't understand why they're all just using one shot guns. I don't know. I don't know if it's nationally one shot day or what, but I'll keep it a hundred. It's kind of annoying me. Uh, yeah, so the whole point of this weapon getting a buff was for its medium range, which makes sense because these guns tend uh, what when SMG shoots insanely quick it's kind of hard for it to kill fast at a little bit of further ranges because like i said it goes through bullets insanely quick it just eats his work it eats bullets it literally goes through bullets so quick to the point where sometimes it is like i guess unmanageable that's why like you need that 45 round mag to like give you you know the right amount of bullets for a fire rate like this but we are here on a totally different map now because last map just wasn't it i'm gonna be honest twin it just wasn't it on another small map because i figured why not that's where this smg will definitely definitely excel at because it just shoots so quick, bro. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not trying to range at like a crazy, crazy far range because I already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't need to get embarrassed right now, so. We're, 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 we're gonna keep it at a respectable range for myself. I'm actually kind of glad that they did buff a lot of these Modern Warfare 2 guns as well because if you think about it, they kind of got like a little less like of an advantage, which obviously doesn't make sense. It's from a different game, but you know, these weapons, you could tune them. So like you can give them even more damage or more recoil control because of the tunes and stuff like that. But once this game came out, we, we, we lost that ability to tune it, which obviously it makes sense. There isn't tuning in this game, but well, these buffs kind of give it the, the tuning factor to it, if that makes any sense. What the fuck? That almost killed me too. 
You also have it when you shoot the pumpkin, you just get a jump scare like that. Like I was saying, the whole buffs to it basically give you the tuning effect on the gun that you know tuning would actually would have give, given you. So just like the bonuses and stuff like that. That's how I kind of view it and look at it to be honest. I think that's I think that's pretty fair. But I am very happy that they, you know, actually sat down and buff a lot of these guns as well. Just to make them more viable. Even though this game life cycle is over. You know, to give, give these weapons, you know, one last little run before you truly, truly never touch them again. All right, right now I'm trying to get my flow going, bro, because it's, it's, I can't do anything. I can't get anything going at all. I'm over here making all the wrong moves, all the wrong mistakes. It's truly, truly just not it for me right now. But about to lock and see what we can do here. Yep. It's 45 round mag reload so slow but i'm gonna work i'm gonna work through it i'm gonna work with it and i got your back twin yeah, they all just being ratty that's really what it is yeah it's, i think i think i think the mosquito hit so i really don't even know for real we're just gonna hope and pray that i actually did hit and i don't have to worry about it i'm back right now and I'm in desperate need of some ammo right now, so I know that. Oh, the fuck, man. I'm challenging here. Oh my god, I should be dead. Teammates, look around, fellas. I look around, I should not be getting all these kills. I should be helping me out. What are we doing? I would push that, but I know like, one of those kids are. Definitely, definitely laying down. I was on my face, skin. I was lagging, big bro. Oh my god. This thing is so satisfying. I'm telling you, bro, I think the sight just changed it for me, no cap. Like, I tried to class without the sight, and I was like, yeah. Once I put that sight, I was like, yeah, this is the one. And it made it more accurate for some odd reason. But. Here we are. This is, is kill for holy shit. I forgot. I didn't have a lot of time to do anything. Oh my. Yes, shotguns. Teammate swing going crazy. He in the corner. All right, right now, I'm struggling on bullets. Which I kind of did forget that this gun actually does do that, which is go through ammo like this. Don't tomorrow. So you got to be very mindful of your ammo count with this gun for surely. Honestly, it's not too, too bad, but. I definitely did run out of bullets right there. I might just call this nuke in. I don't know. I don't know what kill confirm goes to, but yeah, we're just gonna end the game here. It's We just gonna end the game, baby. Is why not? Yeah, it's over. Let's see, seventy and nine. All right, let me explain before we get into this. I know this map is. It's, it's, this map sucks. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. This is a horrible map last year for Modern Warfare 2, but that game was also terrible itself. So I have a lot of I have a lot more advantages on here in terms of recycling streaks, in terms of my comms vests, and just overall the game's just a lot better. So I'm gonna use my Modern Warfare 2 gun that recently just got buffed. I'm gonna use it on this map. Cause why not? I him. I'm running twin. I'm a little scared. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know. No way I made that sound and the cars went bad too. Holy. Oh, half these kids are ghosted. Wait, this is not ideal, but they're all by C right now, so I'm gonna go over here. Twin to the corner, counter up. That's my right here. Yep, got him. Once I get my advance and I can just cycle those like back and forth, bro, that is wraps. What? I just need my advance. I need I need I need the game to flow smooth enough just to get that one advance and it's over for real. And that's why I, I can truly, truly just start to tee up. You know, get comfortable and stuff like that in the back. Let's be honest, I'm not comfortable on here at all. Plan's not going as great. UAV. Oh my gosh. All right. Get my black ass back inside. Oh my god, that slide saved my life. Holy moly. Holy shit. Dance up, W. Oh my god, thank you. I needed this. Something bad out a whole riot shield, bro. I don't get that. What's the mindset on that? Granted, that could just be the kid who's like, who's just going for the flag. I'm gonna waste this at advance. I think this kid has the assassin vest. As, as we all know, the assassin vest could avoid the advance. Some mystical way. 
Dude, that's the thing now, all of a sudden. Oh my god, UEV. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, Vince, run out. Oh my gosh. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy. Hey, well, I'm a little nervous, too, man. This kid's not on my advance. What's going on? These kids aren't on my advance. What is this assassin vest? Someone please enlighten me since where this assassin vest took you off the advance UAV. Like nothing should count counter a advance, bro. Unless it's a counter UAV. I don't care what nobody tells me, bro. Nothing should counter a advance unless it's a counter UAV. Ain't no perk, ain't no vest, ain't no none of that. Should not be a thing at, at all. Because the assassin vest has always been in the game for a while now. It's just now recently I'm finding out that it can avoid my advance. I don't know why I'm just now discovering that. Like, I don't know. All of a sudden, it's like a new thing to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end this game. I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I'm, I just can't play this map. I got my nuke. That's just it. This map's just so bad. It's just not good. But this is defending here. It got buff the vector basically, which shoots insanely quick, kills insanely quick up close, no matter what. Honestly, it's so overall a lot of fun now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir is right, ma'am.